You ready to roll? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, how are you everyone? I hope you are doing well. Today's video is actually fucking exciting because I've been wanting to unbox this since we got it. This is a package from one of our favorite bands. Drum roll. Could it be better to do it on here? Behemoth. Fucking behemoth. Like, this video is obviously going to be the return of Music Monday. I've had a few requests to bring this series back, so thank you to Behemoth because you have reignited this series. They sent us a whole bunch of merch, their new CD, all of this stuff. Like, we've been listening to their new record on um, Spotify. Oh, we'll get into that <clears throat> later on, the review of the album, but first, Let's get into this. Um, I have worn two of these tops. Naughty, naughty me. Behemoth make the best merch. Like seriously, they think about all kinds of different things. Mm. This is a cut out top that has the Behemoth logo on the front. And then on the back, it has Behemoth down the bottom. How cool is that? So that's the first shirt that's in here. There's actually quite a few we there was a note in here they basically went through my music videos and they realized that he's a huge fan of Amon Amarth they're one of his favorite bands so they sent us also Amon Amarth well him Amon Amarth merch yeah. how cool is that so that's a patch yeah which we will be putting on his upcoming battle vest the battle vest ready for my uncle's wedding because yeah everybody's wearing battle vests to his wedding um how cool is that though so the next top you would have seen on my instagram because i have worn this one this one is probably one of my favorites that they sent yeah, yeah. it is pretty cool it's simple but it's made of this really incredible cotton that's very light and airy and so good for summer very good for summer um just incredible the next shirt i think this is another one that they sent for me yes yeah, small size small again look at this mm. behemoth they are on top of the merch game if you are in a band seriously pay attention to a yeah. bit of behemoth like yeah. I want to get this one also for him as well because I think red looks really good on him. Like with his darker complexion and all that stuff. It just see, it, it looks really good on him. But yeah, I love the red and the black and the gold. The fact that it's gold. I love gold. I love gold. The next top is also a behemoth top, but this is for him. Also, their tags. Look at that. I can reuse that and either sew that onto something or, you know. The battle vest? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this. How cool is that? This is the God. I'm guessing, yeah, this is from the God Equals Dog. Uh, which was their, I think their, the first track that they released off their new album. When that one came out, because we listened to the What's New in Metal on Spotify yeah. a lot, we were just like really anticipating this new album because The Satanist still remains, until this actually, this album was my favorite Behemoth album. But I think it's just been, yeah. God equals, uh, yeah. It says it on the back. <laughs> yeah. How awesome. Yeah, boy! Quick costume change! Yeah. How nice is that, though? I love the fact that they've got gold. Just... And it's not like that... That, um... You know, like my old Heaven Shall Burn shirt? How the print yeah. is really rough? Yeah. 
that sucks in summer when it gets hot and you start to sweat mm. and it's like sticks to you. It's really good for very bold prints, but Australian summer, it's just not practical. Yeah. Um, the the old Enzite design from Heaven Shall Burn. Uh, I think you've pretty much got almost the whole entire catalogue yeah. of Heaven Shall Burn shirts. Um, next up is another shirt for him. Would you like to hold this one up? Again, red, gold, and black. We're going to be matching. Mm. This is such an intricate design. This is so cool. Yeah. I'm going to keep saying it. Behemoth. Ah, Top-notch merch. This is heaven for him. He pretty much lives in band shirts. Yeah. I spend probably about what, 30 to 40% of my time in band shirts. Yeah. Um, next up, oh, it's another behemoth one for you. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah, that's pretty it's sick. It's a very simple design, but it's very effective. It doesn't look like the tacky, just skull, yeah. like a lot of the cheaper the, the old The old um, Pantera the ones. Black. That's also a name of, I think that's, oh, I think that's, I'm not entirely used to the new track names of the new album. But I'm pretty sure that's one of the track names. Probably. Yeah, I, it's I, I think it is. Shirts. I think it is. I love Pantera, and I have quite a few Pantera shirts. But for a long time, they did run, you know, the classic skulls, and yeah. um, it does get a little bit overused and boring. But when it's when it's like this, it's just yeah, it's it's wicked. So here's another one for me, and again with the gold and black theme. Oh, and then I love I love shirts that have front and back prints. Yeah, and if they're a long sleeve shirt, and then they've got a front print, a back print, and sleeve prints. Like the um, my other behemoth long sleeve one, the the satanist long sleeve. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. My short sleeve one only has a front and back design, but the long sleeve. That's why I wear the long sleeve more because it's got it everywhere. This Good package pants. is, so, yeah. Oh, I didn't know there were any pants in here. Leggings. Leggings, dude. And they've, this is the Satanist logo, the album from, the, uh, the logo from the album Satanist. They feel like black milk leggings. They kind of do, eh? Yeah, same yeah. material. Would it be tacky if I wore that with my Satanist shirts? No, I don't think so. I think it'd be very hot. While listening to the Satanist. No one would know unless they know being. And then I'll I'll get the jumper. Yeah. And then I'll I'll just be all in <laughs> Oh yeah, and then this. Oh yeah, they sent they sent us an Amona Marth flag. Yeah, it's backwards. Oh. It's backwards. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There and that's it that's his, right? that's his favorite Amona Marth album too. Fuck yeah. I should get a flag <clears throat> like a flagpole for my bike. And then stitch that to it. So when I'm riding down the road, I have that <laughs> behind me. And then your horn will be Twilight of the Thunder Ghost. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Get the screaming banshee one so it's super fucking loud. And then we've got a behemoth flag as well. I can't. Let's uh, see if yeah. it's the right way or not. No, it's a vertical one. So it's um, go this yeah, way. you're the top. You're the top. I can't see the camera if that's on or not. Wait up. Wait up. Does it go the other way? No, yeah, it goes the other way. It's the other oh. way. <laughs> that's the bottom. It's the, it's the album art for the new album. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. How cool is that? Fuck yeah, Ray. Then we've obviously got the album, the um, premium edition album with the book and everything like that, so... <sighs> Fuck off Spotify. Album's going in the car now. <laughs> yeah. Um, get rid of that other one. I've also... They sent me an Amona Marth shirt as well. Is it Yom's Viking? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so, um, Skyrim looking, eh? This was my favourite Amona Marth album. <laughs> Except for Twilight of the Thunder Gods. Yeah. Twilight of the Thunder God will 
just used a random razor to cut into this. No, see, Twilight of Thunder God will always be like my favorite Amonomoth song. And then the final thing from the Behemoth stuff is this, which is a necklace kind of dog tag looking thing. Um, I think kept on this chain, mm. it would suit you more, but I think I might change this to a different chain. So if it suits you better? Yeah. I, I don't know. Does it, does it? No, I kind of like it like that with yeah, the I gold. Think I think, like it, yeah, yeah, I think I'll keep it like that. But damn, and the fact it's gold. <laughs> gold. Yeah. Goodbye, box. <laughs> so we're going to now talk about the album. We're not exactly the best with the track names because, as I said, we've been listening to it in the car and, you know, on Spotify. But it's not one of those things you, that you can't keep reaching over to the phone and go, yeah. oh, what's the track name of this? Because you've got to pay attention to the road. So we're not the best, but... I'm I, not good at remembering names of things anyway, so... I do know... I know the sound of them. My personal favourite song off this new album, which is called I Loved You At Your Darkest, is Bart's a Bell. These artworks are really cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, with the way this, the CD's kept. This album artwork is incredible. That's where the CD goes. This is incredible. Is that is that no gal? Yeah, it is. It's the members of Behemoth done in the style of um, all Christian paintings. The artwork. Yeah. Um, so Nagal is depicted as Christ within that. Bartzabel has this incredible um, percussion intro that, I don't know, it, it's so like, it's not technical in the way that, you know, there's a lot of you know, drumming going on, you know, dream theater kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, it's the fact that it is kind of like one of those songs that riles you up. Intro is just one of those things that you would play as you're going somewhere or just about to do something that you need that like, you um, know, yeah. Yeah. Just the intro, as soon as it came on, had to know exactly which song it was because yeah, the intro. Havo Hey. Panto Crater, which it, Havahe is Jehovah Backward. It took me a hot minute to work that one out, but it basically means Christ Almighty, um, but Jehovah is backwards. Mm. Um, that one is another fantastic song on this. This album, from start to finish, is incredible. And the intros and the outros really set the scene for the album. Yeah. Um, like the intro has, has the choir of children singing. Uh, that It actually kind of reminded me of how, um, you know, various bands throughout the years have had choirs of children sing to really add to the effect of the, the album. The atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for instance, Pink Floyd, um, Another Brick in the Wall, how they have the children yeah. singing at the end. It really adds to the song. Mm. And then um, We're All Crazy by... Is it called We're All Crazy? By Alice Cooper? I'm pretty sure it's We're All Crazy. It's Inmates We're All Crazy. Yeah. Um, Still part of the title. Yes. We're right. Um, that song, how it has the group singing at the end, really adds the atmosphere. It's kind of like on the same level as that in the way that um, when you have these, almost like the druid singing, because yeah. um, every now and then we'll listen to like classical, chanting and stuff. Yeah, yeah, classical arias and stuff that have the um, kind of chants throughout it in Latin, because it's it's a beauty within itself. Mm. The harmonizing of all these different voices, it especially when they do it in like a really big, like big church yeah and it gets that echo that's when it sounds fucking yeah. awesome it's like that opera the opera singer um what, philippe janowski or something like that i can't remember his mm. name but we watched his full concerto and how he was performing in an old church with the 10 piece yeah band. yeah 
incredible. It really adds to the voices to um, sing within certain areas and not in a studio setting. Yeah. Um, I appreciate it when bands and artists do that. Um, if you haven't heard, if you're into opera, I would highly suggest it's Philip Jarovsky, I think, or Jaruski. I can't, I can't remember. Just link it. Yeah, I'll link it down below to the particular aria in which I'm talking about because he's incredible. Back to Behemoth. <laughs> um, God Equals Dog, as I said before, first song we heard off this album. Incredible. Another song I really liked is Roman 5 8 or 5 8, uh, 5th verse. 5th paragraph, 8th verse. I know my Bible. <laughs> Technically titled R-O-M, but that stands for Romans. When Behemoth contacted me and basically said, we want to send you the new album, because that was prior to its release, and um, when they started releasing the songs off it, I wasn't, I loved it, but I wasn't expecting it to be better than The Satanist, because The Satanist, I mean, like, 90% of my Behemoth merch that I owned before this was all for the album The Satanist. Yeah. Because that one's my favorite. The Satanist was incredible. I, I, it's, you know when bands, you just don't expect them to outdo themselves. Yeah. I think they outdid themselves with this album. And it's really hard to say that because The Satanist was so incredible. But it's like, because we've been having bad experiences uh, with, a, well, not bad, but with a lot of the bands that are releasing new albums that we love. They're letdowns. They're not as good as the ones beforehand. Like when Meshuggah released um, Coloss, that one blew our fucking minds away. Oh, fuck yeah, that was amazing. Because Obzen was before that, and Obzen was incredible. Mm. But then um, I didn't think they could outdo that. Then they released Coloss. Coloss became my absolute favorite Meshuggah album. And then... Um, Violent Sleep of Violent Sleep of Reason, I think it's called, came out, and it's it's good, it's good. Don't get that wrong, but the fact that it came out after Coloss yeah. was like, oh, it's on the back of a couple of incredible albums. You can't, I can understand. It's really hard to top that stuff. Violent Sleep of Reason has some really good songs on it but it's nowhere near Coloss. I mean, I had high expectations, obviously. It's Behemoth. Yeah. Like, Adam Darsky does not do anything half assed I haven't seen any of the music videos from this album, so I'll see if there are any. I'm... I don't know, I'm kind of out of the loop when it comes to music videos. Okay, so they've got two... So they've got two, um, three official videos a few official videos so we're going to watch these come back and then give you the lowdown so we just had a quick watch of the three video clips that were released um music videos whatever whatever you want to call them um that were released alongside songs from this album so there was wolves of siberia um ecclesia diabolica Catholic Catho Catholica. Catholica. Is it, Catholica? Yep, yeah, Diabolica. I was I wasn't sure it was Diabolica yeah. or Diabolica. And by Bart and Bart Sabel. Bart Sabel, whatever, yeah. Now that one was the best. Bart Sabel artistically, like videography wise, and costume, everything. It was incredible. I love the fact that they shot it in black and white too. Mm. I want his costume. That was like one of the first things. I said I yeah. want it all. I His headpiece is really cool. I want it. It's like the Antichrist Pope's hat thing. That hat thing he wears. Yeah. Except for, you know, an called. inverted cross is actually not. No, no, no. I meant because it's like black and gold and looks fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> fucking awesome. I love little Nicky. So, Bartzabel, definitely the, the best yeah. of the three. Um,. Uh, Ecclesia Diabolica Catholica, um, that's a mouthful. <laughs> uh, that one seemed more like your typical kind of, uh, it's nice, it's very well shot. Yeah. 
and the scenery is incredible with like the Hellraiser Christ guy that that's kind of cool mm. um, it's well shot not one of those music videos that really sticks in my head though it's yeah. not an artistic style one it's like a you know nice location bands playing and they're doing the typical kind of heavy metal I think stuff. it appeals more to instrument players like yourself yeah like you you used to watch that kind of stuff to watch where they were putting um, you know it's sort of like what chords they would, if I was stuck in a part and I couldn't realize what they were doing if I could if that particular part was in the film clip I could watch it and realize what they were doing yeah or at least you know the note range yeah um, yeah and wolves of Siberia I love the fact it was shot from... Like the, pers the perspective of a wolf, yeah. Yeah. Um, it definitely... It started off slow, but I liked how it started off slow. Mm. Um, despite the song, how it doesn't, it kind of starts... Yeah, off it's like fucking bang, go straight away. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, music, um, the, the clip's like... Yeah. Slowly getting into it. Yeah. Um, I think that's... It was a bit off on that way, but uh, the song is great. The music video is great, um, and I love the fact that scenery changes um, mm. happened or flashes happened at on the, the beat. Yeah, um, that was cool. The chorus beats, just I, I love it when there's a synchronicity between the music and the imagery. I'm gonna go back to Bartzabel. Like <sighs> that was the best one. That was my favorite one. It was incredible. Like that film clip. That one definitely had like the most thought I reckon put into it. The yeah. most thought, probably the most budget. Um, Whoever shot that, yeah, the, did it really well. The videographer or videographers, incredible costume design, amazing, incredible. I love the fact that my favorite song on the album has my favorite video clip. Yeah, it just really, uh, I don't know. It usually does work like that, though. Eh? Like the best song, I don't know, generally has the best film clip or the only film clip. Because my favorite songs typically have no film clip, because mm. they're not usually the ones that are released. Like we've talked about this multiple times in the way that um, when singles are released from albums, I always think these aren't in, like, these aren't my personal thoughts of the best on the album or the best way to advertise an album yeah um so i think they've definitely chosen great songs yeah especially parts of all i'm not gonna oh, i can't get over that song honestly it's just musically such a great piece and the way it works into it is mm, mm, mm. i love songs that have that build up that dramatic build up into the song we kind of went a bit off topic, but overall, overall, what would you rate this overall? The cover or the album? <laughs> the album. I don't know. This is definitely my new favorite um, Behemoth mm. album, very closely, incredibly closely followed by the satanist like it's it's very close in the way it's uh, like a sliver a very small sliver i'd say it's probably at least an eight out of ten yeah it's definitely fantastic yeah behemoth's more my kind of area um like he's more he he's a lot of your favorites are very speed metal and yeah, obviously well, the viking monomath lamb of god Heaven Shall Burn. I got like massive memory blank right now. I can't remember shit. I would rate this. It's mid. It's one a.m. I would rate this. I don't know. I'm considering the music videos as well. Um, overall, I'd rate this probably like a nine and a half out of ten. It's just because it's really hard to get a perfect ten. Yeah. In my mind, with I don't music. even know if I would. Would there be an album that would be considered perfect? Um, in my mind, a perfect album. I don't know. I consider a perfect album, um, well, anything over like a nine, an album where I will listen to it from start to finish. Mm. I am so grateful, like incredibly grateful. The fact that Behemoth, their management, um, they've decided they want to interact with me. <laughs> 
um, well, with us, yeah. they sent us a whole buttload of band t-shirts, the album, and a Monomath gear. Yeah, I'm surprised that they sent a Monomath, because yeah. it's not a Monomath. Yeah. The fact that they, they took the time and they saw that I had mentioned obscurely that your favorite band is a Monomath. And how I just like how cool is that? Yeah. And and the Behemoth started following me. Cool. It's nice to get recognition from people yeah, you I love. Know. I know. <laughs> but we'll be seeing them also. Um Come on, internet. I know, it's so fucking slow. We've had a busted cable with the internet. The entire area has fucked cables, and it's been two months now, we're still waiting for it to get fixed. Behemoth which makes Twitch really fucked. Brisbane, 7th of March. Cool, that's pretty recent. Yeah. So we'll be seeing Behemoth on the 7th, Ghost on the 11th, I think. Of March? Yeah. And then... Post Malone in May. We've got a busy year ahead of us. Also, soil work. Soil work. I, they rescheduled theirs. Oh no, no, there. It's changed again. So yeah, you yeah, were right. Yeah, thirty first of October. Thirty first of October. We're seeing soil work. Okay. No, I'm. I'm more excited for Ghost, Ghost and Behemoth, because last time Behemoth came. I got really, really sick, so mm. we couldn't go. Like yeah. the day of the concert, yeah, I was just way too. I got <clears throat> ready for it and everything, but then I collapsed, and we were just like, "Yeah, no, nah, can't, yeah. can't do this." Yeah, it's awful. I'm so excited to see Behemoth, and we're all decked out in our new gear. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want us to do more Music Mondays, then let us know by either liking or commenting down below any video suggestions, or just say get your ass back to Music Monday. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because I would love to be here for every single video. Like this video if you like these Music Mondays and you want me to keep doing them and maybe do more album reviews or favorite recent songs or whatever, comment down below if there's something you would like to see. Kitty. To see on this channel, sorry, it's just one of those stutters and I'm gonna keep it going because I've got a minute left of footage. <laughs> and I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful, fantabulous day. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Say bye. Bye. Say something more. Something more. <laughs> you suck. <laughs>